Vaikuntha Ekadashi greetings to all our viewers. Today we bring to you the story from the Padma Purana on why Vaikuntha Ekadashi is celebrated and the significance of Ekadashi fasting. The Padma Purana says that during the Krita or Satya Yuga, a powerful demon called Mura obtained great powers by performing severe penance. Armed with his powers, he defeated the gods who ran to Lord Shiva for help. He said that only Lord Vishnu could solve their problems. So Vishnu waged a battle against Mura. The epic battle went on for 1000 celestial years. At one point, Vishnu wanted to undertake penance for some time as he had realized that Mura could not be destroyed by the usual weapons. He needed a different weapon, one against which Mura's powers would be ineffective. Lord Vishnu then entered a beautiful cave called Himavati in Bhadrika Ashrama to undertake tapasya and create a new weapon. Mura planned to attack Vishnu while he was in dhyana, but Vishnu's shakti or female energy came out of his body in the form of a beautiful woman. She fought Mura and burned him to ashes with one look. When Lord Vishnu came out of the dhyana and realized what had happened, he was very pleased. He gave the name Ekadashi to the maiden and gave her a boon. The maiden wanted him to give her the power to deliver people from their sins if they observed a fast on this day. Vishnu gave her the boon and announced that those who worshipped him on Ekadashi, that is the 11th day of the lunar cycle, would reach his abode Vaikuntha. In this manner, the first Ekadashi was born. One earthly year is equivalent to one day in heaven or Devaloka. The earthly year has two parts based on the sun's transit. The sun's northerly transit is Uttarayan, which corresponds to the months from January to June. Hindu months Marga Shirisha Masa to Ashada Masa. The sun's southern transit is Dakshinayana, which corresponds to the months from June to December. For the heavenly beings, Uttarayana represents day and Dakshinayana represents night. The month of Marga Shirisha usually falls in the last month of Dakshinayana and is regarded as the pre-dawn. The 11th day of the waxing lunar cycle, Shukla Paksha Ekadashi, is when dawn begins. Hence, it is auspicious for worshipping Vishnu, as he appears to the residents of heaven and gives them his blessings. According to legend, the gates of Vaikuntha open on Vaikuntha Ekadashi day. A Vaikuntha Dwaram or gateway to heaven is erected in the temple and devotees enter the temple through this, symbolizing their entry to Vaikuntha. In all Vishnu temples, the northern door will be open on this day and devotees visit the Lord through this door. Fasting is an important ritual of Vaikuntha Ekadashi as it supposedly helps to eradicate sins and attain moksha. Rice is not taken as the belief is that the demon Mura dwells in the rice. Milk and milk-based products as well as fruits can be consumed. Some do not even take water on this day. It is believed that Vaikuntha Ekadashi fast pleases Vishnu greatly and he bestows many boons on those who observe the fast. In the evening, fruits, flowers, naivedya, vermilion and turmeric are offered to Vishnu. It is very auspicious to chant Vishnu Sahasranamam and read the Bhagavad Gita on this day. Vishnu temples in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka celebrate the day with great fervour. The celebrations at Tirumala Venkateshwara Temple Tirupati, Sri Ranganada Swami Temple Sri Rangam and Trivandrum Padmanabha Swami Temple are very famous.